we're down in Flamingo, which is where I fish out of a lot, it's like in the heart of the Everglades. And um, day one, we were supposed to go out front on the Florida Bay side and catch fish for sight fish for tail and redfish and tarpon and snook. But we had a tropical wave three days ago and the winds were up to 40 miles an hour and we had nonstop rain. So conditions were tough to say the least. Got a snook here on the jig. Let's see here, it's got a, it's a little mullet jig with the mullet fire gel on it. Medium guy, pretty though. Backcountry freshwater snook, real bronze. Oh, we got another one. Cool. Oh. Little redfish. Just ate the jig, real pretty, real coppery looking in this tannic water. Another bite? Yeah. And uh, the jig had the mullet set on it. A little guy, but real pretty fish. We're fishing for small tarpon and snook, and we're making long cast up these creeks ahead of the boat um, before the fish sense the boat coming. And this is a, we're throwing a jig, and we're also throwing this DOA bait buster. This one's already been eaten once. And uh, we just rubbed some of the fire gel mullet scent on it. Just need a little bit on your finger. Get it on there, and um, and using with this, we have uh, just 40 pound mono. There's a loop knot to give the mullet some some free swimming action, and this is 10 pound Berkeley Fire Line with a Pen 3000 size reel, and uh, that's it. Just a light spinner, and let's see what we get. Oh, that's a nice. Is, is that a uh, snook? Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, he's running that shit. I don't know what that is. Nope. Yeah, nope. Watch, watch the troll motor. Best one so far. Nice and easy. Okay. Nice and easy. Chris, you got it back up. I'm getting away from you. I swallowed it. Cool. Good one, big boy. Nice snook. On the mullet. Yesterday, the tarpon on the front side of Flamingo we caught, uh, we just got into a few early morning rollers. Not many, the water was really muddy. So we threw um, white bucktail jigs, you guys up north call them hair jigs, I believe. And um, we put the sardine scent on and the fire gel sardine scent. And we just worked them kind of slow and it took four or five bites before uh, Big Boy caught one. Dude, oh, hey. Dude that was badass. That was cool. Chris, you get that? Still got it. I'll grab here in a second. Very pretty. Oh, oh shit! Oh, 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 oh. God. That one's been grabbed by an alligator or something. He's really? Scaled, yeah. He's... See, he's been grabbed by a dolphin or something. Wow. Got him. Watch this. Woo -hoo. Oh, nice. Cool. <laughs> oh, he got me in the tree. Hold on. Uh, oh, Oof. he's on, he's on. Here we go, he's coming at us now. He's on the left side here. It took a couple bites to get him. He's, he's like a 25 pounder, 20 pounder now. Very cool. He ate the swimming mullet. Fire gel mullet on. Very cool. There we go. There's a go player. Cool. Day one, the uh, the two redfish we caught sight fishing. Um, we do, we're throwing this plastic shrimp. You can really use any kind of plastic shrimp or crab. And then we added the uh, the shrimp fire gel to it. Just a little dab on your finger and rubbed it on there. And redfish especially um, go after scent. It it can never hurt, and at the least, it gets your human scent off of there. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from one of my favorite places in all of North America. Reason being, it offers some of the best fishing slash wildlife viewing 
in all of the United States. Now, we're in Everglades National Park. The first time I ever came here was 2004, way back when I was writing for the Los Angeles Daily News as the outdoor writer. Boy, it's been 16 years since I've been with Potsky now. And I said, we have got to film an episode of Potsky Outdoors here in the Florida Everglades. Sure enough, it wasn't what we had designed. Reason being, Hurricane got there right before we did. Hurricane Sally in September of 2020 put a damper on this trip, but we still ended up having a great time. Now, we started in Everglades National Park. It's a place called Flamingo. We're an hour and 45 minutes from Miami. Those of you that have never been to this area before that could be watching in North Dakota or Washington or Maine, we're an hour and 30 minutes from Key Largo. Put those two places together, you drive on the park road for a good hour and you have to go the speed limit. Imagine that. It takes about an hour to go through the park to get to Flamingo, but once you get there, it's like paradise. You know, you see alligators all over the place. There's osprey everywhere. You'll find sharks right next to the side of your boat. Don't go in the water here, folks. There is so much wildlife and marine life in this area. It is mesmerizing. Now, we started in Florida Bay. And sure enough, you heard Eric talk already about how Hurricane Sally came through basically right on top of where we're standing right now, about two days before we got here. What'd that do? It made the water muddy, it churned it up, there was wind everywhere, it messed everything up. But day one, we did catch a few nice fish, just the bite was really off, and everybody we talked to was kind of in the same boat. You know, that's what happens when a hurricane comes right on top of you. Now, we were able to see some pretty incredible things that first day. One of them was tailing tarpon. For those of you in the West that have never seen this before, that's when a tarpon's really up in the shallows, normally feeding on mullet, stuff like that. And you see their big tails and they're coming right out of the water. It's, it's a pretty incredible scene. We watched it for about an hour and a half and we decided to try to catch one of those. We put a sardine fire gel right on a white bucktail jig. And you'll see in this video, the tarpon popped right on it. We ended up missing that one, but luckily we caught one of the small ones before we went over chasing redfish. Now when we chased red and we switched it up, we put shrimp fire gel on plastic shrimp and we cast it towards them. Part of the goal of this trip was to show that even if you don't have live bait, if you have good scent like that that comes with the fire gel, you're able to find success as well. And we sure did that, even under really tough conditions. Now day two, we expected, oh, it's been one more day should be epic today you know maybe the pressure kind of stabilized a little bit maybe the water cleared up a little bit sure enough that maybe wasn't what happened on the second day we started at flamingo again we went right out in front we milled around for about an hour we, we drove all over the place saw some incredible scenery boy it was beautiful but the water was still muddy everywhere we went it was churned up it was muddy things were not biting so we drove an hour all the way up the west shore and couldn't find anything over there either. It was muddy as can be. It just wasn't what we hoped for. And Eric looked at me and goes, I know how to salvage this. It doesn't matter if we have the greatest bait in the world. These fish are not going to bite. We got in the car. Sorry, we got in the boat. And we motored 45 minutes as fast as that boat would go all the way up to fresh water. And as soon as we got back up there, things kind of changed a little bit. You know, Eric knew there weren't going to be massive snook back here or massive redfish or large tarpon. But... We knew there was going to be plenty of action and we could still film an episode up here. And that's what we did. Basically, we used jigs scented with mullet fire gel and we caught tons of snook. And by tons, I mean dozens of snook. Now, they weren't all monsters, but we got into a lot of nice fish and we were able to salvage this trip after the hurricane came over and dampened our spirits. Now, you'll see we caught a lot of nice redfish as well. Keep in mind, these aren't redfish out on the flats that are huge. We're not in Louisiana. These aren't bull reds. We're way back in freshwater catching redfish, catching small tarpon, and having a blast catching snook on almost every cast, just like you can. If you've never fished the Everglades before, this needs to be on your bucket list. It's one of North America's finest places. It's a place where you can catch a snook and out of the corner of your right eye, see a crocodile swimming by, and be imagining, wow, this is one of the most amazing places in all of North America. Get out here to Florida and experience it just like we did.
Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. They make a funny clip. No, don't get me. Want to keep it on, Chris? <laughs> Here, big boy, I'll get that one for you. <laughs> yeah. Get the net. Let me get it. I'll measure it for you. Still got yeah. it. This might be. Oh, oh, oh you didn't quite get him in. We can't really count that. Kind of like those snook. Yeah. Yeah, just like the big snook. <laughs> <laughs>